Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to quickly show you how to take down these wire racks without putting additional holes or bigger holes in your wall. So there's kind of a little bit of a method to the madness of taking these things down. Um, if you ever had a builder build your house, they put in these, they're super cheap. Um, and so they put them in. So we're going to replace those with real wood hanging um, closets that are really nice. And so we're going to show you another video of that. But I'm going to give you a quick um, rundown of how I remove these things to minimize the size holes you put into your wall. So let me show you how. The first thing you want to do is remove these support pieces in here. It's really pretty easy to do because you can actually grip the nails and pull them right out. So I use the needle nose pliers to do that. So you can do that really quickly. Do it for all the pieces all the way along the wall. So now that you remove the nail from the needle nose, this, this piece that's in here, this, this piece isn't going to be expanded in the wall as much. You're still going to get a hole, but it won't be as much. So the next thing you want to do is just really kind of push up on it, and you'll notice that they pop right out from there. So you can see the hanger that's in there. Once you pull that nail out of there, it stops the expansion of this, so it allows this to kind of pull through the wall. And you can see you still have a hole, but the hole is only as big as one of these now without trying to, otherwise if you pulled it out, because this is expanded with the nail, it would pull a bigger section of the wall out for that hole. So that's step one. Okay, the next step is most builders put these under hooks in. So there's two hooks. There's a top hook where things snap down and then there's a bottom hook. They do this so you cannot really push up and just take it off the wall. So that's why they do it. In order to get these out, I've used a flat screwdriver and what you want to do is you want to get in underneath it and just kind of pry it out a little bit. So you pry it out a little bit and now, because you can get your needle nose pliers in there, you can pull that out, you can pull that out, boom. And again, you can see the size nails that are holding those in. And you want to do that for all of them that are holding from underneath. After you remove the nails again from here, these are going to be some of your bigger holes, but it is what it is. If you just grab it with a needle nose pliers, you should be able to work it out of the wall. And again, like I said, so if you pull the nail out, this can pull through the wall like this, minimizing the size of your hole. If you try to pull it out with just a pliers with the nail in it, you're going to pull out a section of your wall that's going to be at least double that size. The next step is really to remove this, because now that you took the bottom pieces out, there's nothing holding it in. So you can snap out the grid from the, each of these, and you can pull down the wire rack. So now you're done with that. So what you're left with is these top hook hangers, and uh, you can, what you need to do is the same thing. So basically you need to get under the nails, work them out a little bit, just enough so you can actually pull them with your needle nose. And then the same thing is true. Just work it a little bit so it creates a smaller hole. And then you'll have less patching work to do. So you're going to want to do that for all of these top hangers. Okay, the last part is really the side piece or where it actually sits in kind of this, this, uh, this wedge. And you want to do the same thing. You want to basically work it with a flat screwdriver if you can just to get it out enough. There you go. Same thing on this side. Right, just get it out just enough. And then, same thing is true. Needle nose to pull them, okay? And then with this one, which is kind of nice, is you don't really need much to do. You can kind of work it out with your hands. Nice and slowly. And then you'll only get, again, the size hole, because otherwise, like you see, you see how they're split. That's what happens when you put that nail through it. So let me show you real quick. If that nails through it and goes all the way through it, it forces this thing to be split open. So if you tried to pull it out of the wall that way, it would pull out a chunk at least that wide instead of pulling out, basically having a hole that's wide enough just to fit it through. Okay, so that's it. That's how you take down these wire racks without doing additional damage that you have to do more patching with. So now you just have the little, the holes, and I wouldn't say they're little, but you just have the holes um, that are, were enough to get the racks put in. So that's it. Um, now I'm gonna go through a process of patching all the holes, probably have to put a couple of um, 
coats of patch on it, sand it down so the walls are completely smooth and get ready for painting it. But if you have subscribed to our channel, give us a thumbs up. You know, that's how you really take down these wire racks with uh, doing as little damage as you possibly can. We'll see you next time. Thanks.